Stop. When Travis tours hotels in this country, and this is my number one problem, don't have bidets in them usually. Travis has his own sort of like pocket size super soaker. Yeah. Well, uh, I try to request, operated. I request bidets at every hotel I go to, which uh, brings me to another point. I think it's time for- You're a bad sl- person. Well, yeah, I'm a bad person. <laughs> And I With don't a really tr- dry, do crusty butthole for I don't really do that, but it is time for another celebrity <laughs> check in. Oh, yeah. wait. Wait. Oh, yes. Okay, great. That's yeah, great. so I've got a list of celebrities here, and I've got um, some requests that they make. This is a mixture this one of dressing room requests and hotel room requests. I'm okay. going to give you the list of the celebrities in no particular order, as well as the list of the requests, and you're going to match them. I love Make this. sense? Okay. Yes. Your celebrities are Post Malone. Okay. Pharrell. Yes. The Weeknd. Shit. Rod Stewart okay. and Lenny Kravitz. At least one of those is going to be pre I feel like if one of these things is like trains, little trains for me to play with. That's mm. Rod Stewart all day every day. Okay, do you want me to give you the list again? Oh yeah. Okay, in another different order cuz I can't remember the order I just said. Pharrell, The Weeknd, Post Malone, Rod Stewart and Lenny Kravitz. Got you. Okay, you ready? Easy. No problem. This is a hotel room request. Bowl of grated Parmesan and shredded Parmesan, grilled asparagus, no oil or salt. All right. That's okay. a hotel room request. Kick hotel ass. room request. Give me my options again. Post Malone, The Weeknd, Pharrell, Lenny Kravitz, Rod Stewart. Correct. Lenny. Lenny Kravitz, dead to rights, it's Lenny Kravitz. Can I tell you, what's this is going to really be out of left field. It's the two different types of cheese. I'm getting big Post Malone energy from this. Wow. Isn't wow. that weird? Isn't that out of type? Is that your guess, Griffin? Yeah, it's Post Malone. No, the correct answer is Lenny Kravitz. It's one point for Justin. Justin, got it, damn it. What's up? Why does, okay. hey, Lenny, hey, Leonard, it's the same cheese. It's the same cheese in Leonard, two different forms. Leonard, it's the same cheese, my then man. Then again, you Griffin, don't... people people like ice water, which is two different forms of water. So maybe maybe Mr. Kravitz just likes cheese in all of its state. You know what I mean? Gas, well, not big cheese. He doesn't liquid. want big cheese. He wants small cheese and then like that microscopic cheese. He doesn't cheese. want solid cheese. No way. Uh, um, okay, I got one for you, Trav. What? I got one for you. Now, hold on. It's not really Six happy. cans of ginger ale on ice. And I'm just about, you've not given me any options. It, no it? options. You have to guess. So Is from that, the entire. Just from this, six cans of ginger ale on ice. Justin Macro. There's four. There's one bag pita chips. That's okay. us, Justin. You're talking us. about the You're macro. You're reading brothers. our old, okay. our old, our old writer. Chocolate or fruity candy. We're not picky. <laughs> That's this a, tra- is literally that's what a trap, sa- actually. We're that's literally what picky. it says on our writer. And I, uh, can it, just to make this it clear. Is from, this is from 2018, though. This is from six in, years in ago. In case you didn't know, when, when someone oh. makes a writer, they pay for it out of pocket. So right. basically, we have given them a grocery list for yes. things that we wanted. And a lot of that ends up just going home with us of like, thanks for the bag of candy that I paid for it. Okay. That's so yeah. tight. Okay. So, suitcase. next one. Welch's Grape Fruit Snacks, Snickers, and Bud Light. I mean us. This one's our. Th- this Justin just us. said it. Um, yeah. I wanted. I will say one other thing about our list. It is. I don't want to make us sound so low maintenance. These days, I have added one finicky item to the writer, and it is best local donuts. Best. Local yeah. Donuts. What is the best donuts in the city? I need that from you and the crew picks. So it's like it's it's, it's Steelers choice, and then it's fun because I tell people on the crew that that's on the writer, and then they see the donuts they got, and that every time, oh no. Oh no, they fucked you over. You're gonna need to go down to Pals. You go to three blocks down this way. You gotta get there at six forty five in the morning. The best the is best. when we do like a Taz and a my brother, my brother, me in the same place, and the next day there's a different box of donuts and they're like, nah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 Who no, got no. That? This is the best. Who did that? Okay. Okay. Welch's is grape a hotel fruit snacks. room hotel room request. Welch's grape fruit snacks, Post Snickers, Malone. and Bud Light. Post Malone. I mean, yeah. Post Malone. That does post feel that is post Malone. Post Malone. I, was yeah, post Malone. Yeah. Post Malone. I was hoping I would I don't trip even you know up. Who post Malone? Is. Can I be honest? How I, obvious it was when I gave Post Malone the asparagus and two types of cheese. That was aspirational for Fair. me. For like where I like, wouldn't it be fun if Post Malone was actually Mister Two Cheese Asparagus guy and not Bud Light and Fruit Snacks guy? Okay, are you um, ready? Hotel room request. We've got to remind us. Still post Malone seems nice. Pharrell, Rod Stewart, The Weeknd. Okay. Okay. 
Hotel room okay. request, humidifier and air purifier. Rod Stewart. And reportedly, <laughs> and reportedly took both of them when they left. <laughs> then say it again. Hold on. A humidifier and air purifier and reportedly took both of them when they left. Okay, this is one. I, okay, let me explain why this is Rod Stewart for sure. Okay. Rod Stewart is getting up in years a little bit. Gotta protect the instrument. That uh -huh. rasp is a very finely tuned thing. You gotta have the humidity. I'm in my head now as to whether or not people born in the last 20 years even know who Rod Stewart is. Moving on. He was a grave digger. Was his first <laughs> job. This was the first thing he did. At first he was too nervous to perform facing the audience. He would turn his back to the audience because he was so nervous. And that's why this he has is, an air purifier? This is somebody who appreciates the value of money. Sometimes we leave the fruit tray in the fridge untouched and we beg people, please take this home with you. Thanks for coming to the show. Take this home. He appreciates that that humidifier, that costs a couple hundo. And he that's is taking it with him because he probably bought it by our writer laws. Well, that's a hotel room request. Important to note. Hotel room request. Oh, not, I don't not know if you're writer. paying for it. Still Rod Stewart. He's okay. going to clean him out. Griffin. Oh, gosh. It's the taking it. That is the wild part to me. Like, both of these things, I could see wanting to have that in your room. Maybe you're just used to the white noise and the wet air. I we get travel. It. I We've traveled with humidifiers. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I have a travel humidifier. It's, it's a little donut that I screw a water bottle into. It's amazing. It is the taking it that is beyond the pale for me. I do not think that that is the gambit of a younger man. And for okay. that reason, I am going to agree with Justin and say Rod Stewart. No, I'm sorry. That was The Weeknd. The Weeknd. The Weeknd. The Weeknd. Now, you can get we your have two, two left. Rod Stewart. I appreciate wanting the comfort of knowing that you could humidify any room at any time. That's yeah. cool. Like, the idea that you'd be like, God, the air's a little dry in here. And The Weeknd's like, let me get my suitcase one I second. I got you. Got you. Hey, help me carry this. This is 80 pounds. This is 80 pounds. Hey, when you're having an exciting weekend, you got to make sure you're also doing self-care. Okay. We've got Pharrell and Rod Stewart. And the last two requests, there's a dressing room request, framed photo of Carl Sagan, or hotel room request, 13 soccer balls. <laughs> Rod Stewart and Pharrell. It's... And these are according to, once again, Dumois, Business Insider, and Star Insider. Okay, like, obviously he wants us to say Rod Stewart, right? These are two Carl's... different ones. These are two different ones. So these are the two we've got. These are two. Okay. Yeah, one of them is Pharrell, one of them are Rod Stewart. Pharrell, f okay. The soccer balls are Rod Stewart. Pharrell wants a picture of Carl Sagan. Framed. I'm, it, it, just to be clarified, it's a framed photo. Well, nobody wants the... a loose picture of Carl Can't Sagan. Have a loose Carl what Sagan am I going to do with this? I think, I think, I think soccer balls, I, I think soccer balls is Rod Stewart. And I think, I know soccer balls, 13 soccer balls to the room is not Pharrell. Carl Sagan, I could go either way. Soccer balls has to be Rod Stewart and thereby process of elimination. I think Pharrell is the Sagan, Sagan photo. You are correct. Rod Stewart dreamed of being a soccer player uh, before becoming it. So he wants, quote, 13 soccer balls to kick around in his hotel room. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rod. Rather you didn't, Rod. Hey, Rod. What are you doing with the balls that All you I need can assume is he's, chucking, he's kicking them right off the balcony. That's the only thing I can assume he's doing. It Maybe would be not amazing. on purpose, but it's happened enough. It would be amazing if you saw a soccer ball falling from 170 feet up in the air and you watch that Rod Stewart just gives you a thumbs up like yeah. you. Heads! <laughs> um, and Pharrell, <laughs> apparently the frame photo of Carl Sagan started as a joke, but now he puts it on every writer. So I don't know how many frame photos. Maybe he gives them away. Oh, I don't is know. Is that his maybe brown M&Ms? Like... Maybe. But the um, winner of this week's checking in is Justin, thanks to his Lenny Kravitz. Damn it. Uh, graded and shredded Parmesan I, pole. I Googled Rod Stewart 13 soccer balls, and there's a video called Hot Legs, Rod Kicks Soccer Balls Into Crowd. Um, I guess this is a song he does called Hot Legs, and maybe it's about well, how good he is soccer at balls soccer, in his audience. And he yeah. just blasts. That's how I he guess, gets them to leave. When they're Baker's on that like third encore chant, and he's like, I know how to clear them out. And he uh, just starts be, just direct lining to the face soccer balls. Also, there's a shit ton of signed Rod Stewart soccer balls on eBay. So, like, is that this guy's deal? You think he signs them and then he kicks them off the balcony? He kicks them right into the crowd. What a hot legs. What a good hot song, legs. Rod. Hey, Rod, I don't care what anybody hot says legs. about you. You got some great tracks, man. 
Hot, lo- hot Legs, Rod Stewart's soccer song. <laughs> 